Hey guys, how are you? This is your girl J Baby, and welcome back to the channel. Y'all, it's been a minute. It has been a long minute. I don't have any lashes on right now. I got to put them on. But it has been a minute, y'all. Like, we talking about two months now. It has been two months since I've been on here, and um, I thought maybe it's time to get back. My birthday gone. Um, I have some news. I'm no longer at the uh warehouse, guys. Um, as of March, the, the day after, day after my birthday. Okay, I didn't want to spend my birthday um thinking about whether i should come on i want to just take the time for myself and then i said i'll get on and just you know let you guys know where i've been but i miss you guys so so much oh my goodness y'all just just don't know how much i miss you guys so much y'all it has been two two months i've never been gone that long never ever ever been gone that long but um sometimes i mean you just need the time okay you just need to break you just need to just you know get it together but y'all yeah y'all i don't work at the job anymore um as of march 25th so that's a date after my birthday remember my birthday was march 24th you guys i know you a lot of you guys have been hearing about the um collapse in baltimore <laughs> state of Maryland is in shock right now. He says that uh, at last check, there are still at least six people that are unaccounted for. Uh, all of them believed to be part of a construction crew that was on the bridge at the time of this crash. We were told they were doing pothole repair when the bridge uh, went into the river. Uh, right now, two people have been rescued. One was rushed to the hospital in very serious condition. Uh, another survivor was taken out of the water, and we are told that he uh, refused treatment. And is said to be doing okay, which is just remarkable. But this is a work around the clock, all hands on deck effort. You have members of the Anne Arundel County Fire Department, Baltimore County Fire Department, and surrounding agencies all pitching in, actively working to search for their survive those survivors. Well, I'm not in Baltimore. Um, I don't live in Baltimore anymore. But um, at the same time, uh, we are safe. We are we we're okay here. Um, it's a tragic thing. I have uh, been over that bridge bef before and um, numerous times and just to see it come, you know, come crashing down the way that it did, it's just, it's very, very overwhelming. And um, I do pray for the family members. I have said a prayer for them that everything is, you know, that they will have peace and that they will, you know, be able to, um, God would just hold them, you know, because that's a tragedy. You know, I've lost somebody in my life before and um. You know, I know that's tragic, and I know a, a lot of you guys have as well. Um, I am actually about to go to the job to um, pick up my check. Um, no, I do not have direct deposit. I know I didn't think I, I wasn't gonna stay long. My that was my intention, y'all. I'm listen. That was just my intention. I'm not gonna stay all long at all. But that's why I didn't get direct deposit. But I have to go and pick up my check, and um, that's about it. And then you know whatever else from here so what i have on is this little outfit right here <laughs> i'll put some lashes on y'all but i'm beautiful right i have lashes on or not i miss you guys so much y'all i miss you uh i miss down i miss talking with you guys in, in the comments i love just the pick me ups y'all give to me and all of those things oh my goodness and i have um you know lost a little bit of weight but i know i'm gonna gain some more weight so I have the um, clothing hauls that I'm going to be doing, and um, I actually, I'm hoping that I can still fit the size that I gave to them. If not, y'all, oh, it's going to be a disaster. Um, but it is what it is. I will do anything for you guys. You know that. So I am back. I am back. I am back. Look forward to more videos from me, guys. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get off of here for right now and um, i will be back a little bit later to talk with you guys okay all right if after you know what y'all let me tell you something i've been gaining up oils what is mm. right now it's the oil that i have on right now and it is smelling so good that's what made me think about it as well because i do have to put some more oil um it's barn number nine tribeca i think it's tribeca girl it's the white one. Oh my goodness i don't have listen that's too expensive okay i'm not shilling out any more money i already bought the back of rat rouges and then extract 300 some dollars bottle each so i'm not doing that so i um got the tribeca trip 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 tribeca tribeca girl i'm gonna show them to y'all when i get back okay because tribeca whoo baby that one right there if i had that money i would shill it out okay because that thing is amazing it smells so good so good and i got a lot of other different oils I, um from the last vlog if you guys remember 
I went to an oil place before and I had got some um, oils from this, this one spot. But honey, honey, I forgot about my girl that's at the flea market who be making the butters. And I'm going to tell you, I got a Sauvage from Four Bay that is just like the Sauvage I buy for him, okay? And that Sauvage... That butter, that body butter, baby. Mmm. I can't even tell the difference. And I got him an oil. I can't even tell the difference right. He got the oil on or the real deal. So I sticks with her, but I'm I think I went overboard. Um, I went overboard. It's probably about three of them that I haven't kept myself because they were like for men. So, well, electric cherry for Tom Ford. Oh girl, the one they got this electric cherry. My goodness. I had to pick it up, but Bay got himself one. So he has like three different ones, but I have the majority of them, girl. I've been, let me get them. Let me just get them. Give me a second, y'all. Okay, y'all. Now, I have y'all on like a little um, phone stand. So, I'm hoping it's not like a like a tripod. So, I'm hoping you guys do not fall. So, um, I just got finished trying to put some curls on my hair. Anyway, but in the midst of me trying to get my oils, I kind of like knocked them all over the place in here. Y'all, I have so many oils. It's crazy. But... I have been collecting. We talking about flea market. We, I have been collecting since y'all last saw these. Oh my goodness, y'all! It's so many of them in here. I don't even know. Oh, listen, I need to fix these up. But that Tribeca one, I have the Tribeca, but I want a great big one. I have down to Chanel La Rouge Chanel. You know the Chanel, babe. That thing smells so good. Okay. Um, I even got the the Coco Mademoiselle. The Chanel number no. fives, girl. I got so many of these, and I have dupes to some of them because when I was getting them from the guy, I found out that this other place have them way better. They are not, you know, they they smell exactly like a two or two. I have Delina, um, um, Louis Vuitton, um, what I have. Angel Share. This Angel Share baby smells just like the real deal. Um, Be Delicious by Donna Kern, DKNY. This right here, Be Delicious, amazing. I have the um the Tiffany uh the Tiffany and Co and Company uh which is New York Forever. I have the Tiffany itself smells amazing. Gentle Floyd Gold Girl, please. Huh. I have the body butter she makes with this. And it smells so good. Y'all remember the one I had um, from Amazon? The, the Gentle Floyd Gold from Amazon. I got that when I sprayed it. Girl, I spray that. I use this and I use the body butter. You can't tell me nothing. I have the Delina here. It's just so many, y'all. Um, Ooh, Satin Mood that's in the same um, uh, family as Baccarat Rouge. Oh, my goodness baby okay but anyway my favorite one right now that i am working on is tribeca this is the one right here so i have a lot of these oils y'all i've been busy since i haven't been on here and i'm still not done okay these i have so many let me see if i can show y'all from here you see these i have been working on this so it might wobble a little bit y'all till it gets straight and i'm sweating y'all got y'all on some napkins now so anyway this tribeca right here i don't know the notes but baby, this smells, oh my goodness, smells so good. And I already just put it on my wrist and everywhere else. So I'm just going to rub it here. And this is what I do, rub my hands together like that. Make sure it's not really oily. And just, you know, give myself a nice little rub down, girl. And whew, this smells so beautiful. I can't describe what it smells like, but maybe one day I will um, go ahead and get the notes in there. This right here, I need a big one, okay? And I need a body butter. The Delina, this is how she makes her body butters. She makes her body butters like this, and she puts Delina on it. The number is on here. It's Salon Spot. This is the number right here. It's, of course, in the uh, flea market. So if you are in Baltimore, um, I go to Baltimore to get it. I don't live in Baltimore. I do live in Maryland, but it's in Baltimore. So if you want to get that number, I don't know if she has a website. You can get that number off of there, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Thank me later, okay? But... The body butters. I don't want to put it on because I have enough on. But her body butters is, oh my goodness, body butters is so smooth. It's so scented. So nicely. So nicely. So this one right here is probably about $15 for this bucket. Beautiful. Y'all, 
we're gonna give a round of applause to Billie Eilish, okay? Because Bill, y'all know Billie Eilish. And then she has like little minis as well. Little mini ones. But this is how much I love Billie Eilish. Look, nothing. But I'm not gonna throw it away. This is like a keepsake for me. This is beautiful. But it is something in these two right here. This one right here, she has um uh fragrance body mist. A body mist, y'all. Top is like really hard to get off. It looks like a, a pump it up spray bottle, but it's black. And it feels just like a pump it up spray bottle. This smells exactly, look at it, exactly like Billy Eilish, like this one right here. Like the Eat Do Perfume. It smells just like the, per the perfume. Um, but it's a spray bottle. And this is like 60 something dollars or 80 something. And this one right here is $18. So shout out to you, Billy Eilish, for making it easy for other people and myself to be able to buy it a body mist okay but the top is like really hard so i don't understand the sprayer i don't i don't really want to spray though because i got my other stuff but the sprayer is like this it's like a mist like oh oh honey that smells amazing what's up y'all <laughs> hey y'all it is the next day and um <laughs> we are at we're burger king right now we get one of those um, classic wrap. Thank you. What's it, what is it called? Classic chicken wraps. Classic chicken wraps. Y'all had that before? I, I think that this man right here, he if he could eat a whole case of them, he would. Okay? Not a case. You said not a case? Not a case. He always asks me, he'd be like, um, um, you want one or two? Definitely one. Okay? So. What's on the agenda for the day? Um, I probably run to um, Target and grab little personal things from Target. And um, basically, I'm not doing anything. You know, we're probably going to just, you know, take a nice, take like a nice little old road trip, just ride around or go ride around to go see family members, um, something like that. Or um, or just take like a little chill like ride, right? Mm -hmm. If we don't go see family members. Relaxing um, ride. A relaxing ride. Okay, so we may do that. Um, just to just just chill. It's kind of dewy out here, if I can say that. Kind of dewy out here today, so it may rain on us, but at the same time, honey, um, a ride is always good. Yeah, guys, this is what it looked like right here, and um. Pretty good though, it's not bad. It's good, it's um, crispy chicken. Thank you, good. I don't like to eat them all the time though, because it's crispy, it's fried. But it's pretty good. They like two something. Like like two fifty something, two sixty something. Two ninety nine. Oh, two ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, you three dollars. It's worth it. I like it. Okay, y'all. Mm -hmm. Why? So I can't yawn. No. Mm -hmm. I got you caught. You ain't even know I was you caught, did you? Oh, you see, he be mean to me, y'all. You see? He be mean to me. I sit there and yawn. Oh, he needs some. You can't be yawning. It's not mean, well, but why you don't want me to yawn? Because I just lay sleeping. Because I'm be sleeping. Yeah. But you driving though. So if you driving, I should be able to sleep while you driving, right? Uh, oh, you telling me that I should? That's gonna make you sleep. Yeah. You don't sleep behind no wheel, so I don't even know why you even. Why you yeah, because you don't sleep behind no wheel. Mm -hmm. So you trying to say because I'm yawning, I get sleepy, you go sleep, you gonna go sleep behind his wheel? No. I've been just saying that so you can stay up. So you won't yawn and go to sleep. Yawn? Know sleepy? Yes, man. It's okay to be sleepy, though. Okay, if I sleep, you driving, we driving. It's a long ride, right? No, I'm scared. 
did, man. What'd you call me? I said, you can go see, I was just joking anyway. Well, I know you was joking. I know you was joking, because I know you ain't trying to stop me. You know I don't go to sleep in here anyway. You did. No, if you, I may nod off or sleep. No. The reason why I don't go to sleep because I'm too nosy. Right? I'm one of them passenger, passenger drivers. <laughs> yes, I will. My feet are putting my feet. I hit will, the brake, you mind. That's right. If I if he hit the brake, I'm hitting the brake too. You're hitting the gas, I'm hitting the gas. I'm doing it now. You Dang. you need some juice? No, I got it. How long I've been away from YouTube, you know? Long enough. Uh -huh. I got a correct date. Long enough. You think I should continue it, huh? Uh -huh. It's a platform, so why wouldn't you? Just saying. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, I'm going. Yeah. Okay. You got it right here. You said I need to keep going, I'm going. <laughs> Yo, I look sleepy too, don't I? <laughs> He said he joking, but yeah, right. I go to sleep. He be done putting some music, we'll probably some Jamaican music on us. <laughs> Wake me up. Mm -hmm. I see, I know it. <laughs> don't, don't. Uh -huh. I know you would. As soon as I go no, he be like, no, baby, go ahead. You don't want to go to sleep. Soon as I go to sleep, he'll start speeding really, really fast. And then, then he got to stop and jerk on the brake. And then I'm like, huh, so that wake me up. But he be telling me, go ahead, relax, relax. Mm. You would, y'all. He was driving one day. I, he was driving one day. I went to sleep. He was driving the way I liked it. Next thing you know, I opened up my eyes because he started speeding and I didn't let him know I was woke. This man ran a red light. I'm like, did he just run that red light? Didn't you? Remember I said something to you about it? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Because you ran it, right? Yeah. Uh, see? I, <laughs> I ain't going to sleep around this man. Trying to the light. He tried. Yeah, but you ran the red light though. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Trying to catch it. Trying to catch it. You see, we can't just drive and just don't catch it, right? We can just we don't it doesn't matter. We don't have to have to make that red light though, right? I'm happy, but I'm trying to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing else to say by it. <laughs> All right, y'all, there it is. Y'all got it. Eyewitness News. Okay. Um, I was looking on YouTube um, yesterday, and I saw that one of the YouTubers, a YouTuber had passed away. She was 36 years old and um, she was a beauty influencer. And it turns out that she, um, that her doctor told her that she had fibroids and, the fi and it wasn't fibroids, it was cervical cancer. And um, she has a little kid, I think a little girl and her husband left behind and she passed away. A lot of you guys probably watch her. They, they told her it was fibroids, but fibroids, uh, you know, anyway, they told her it was fibroids. And it wasn't fibroids, it was cervical cancer. So that right there lets us know that she was misdiagnosed. She was misdiagnosed and she was living with that for the longest time. And that's what killed her. You know, that's a lawsuit and a half, but at the same time, this little baby is gonna grow up without her mom. And you know, that's crazy. And um, you know, so that lets me know right now that it's been like in TMI, but not right, but not really, y'all, because we are we are women here majority of us and lets me know i have not had usually every year i try to go for a uh, um obgyn appointment to uh, obgyn appointment to get my um pap smear and i haven't gotten a pap smear in what two two years now so you know i really need to get on it so i'm gonna make me an appointment and i'm gonna go ahead on and, and get my um my pap smear done you know i see that that's important you know that is a that that was crazy to me that was that was really crazy to see that because I remember crossing her page every now and again watching her, you know. And I, I'm not saying I watched her all the time because I didn't, but I remember me watching her, 
her page before so um yeah y'all get get that OBGYN appointment ladies okay and men don't even be tripping because they got prostates too okay going on men got prostates y'all got to get that prostate checked so don't be like oh y'all got OBGYN honey get go get that thing checked okay you don't want your thing to be banging so get your thing checked and ladies we got to do better um for the ones who do get it get y'all um OBGYN um past mirrors you know kudos to you thumbs up but i stopped and it was two years and the reason why i didn't go because i had a bad experience with this one lady she just was so rough and then the second time i went she was so rough and she i mean she even went into my behind honey and didn't let me know and she was rough like she didn't like me you know what i'm saying like she was prejudiced or something honey. she was a a big thick fat um girl and she was a white lady and it's like I don't know. Maybe, 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 I don't know. She was saying like she was prejudiced. Seemed like she didn't, she didn't really care for me too much. And that was before, before, before anything, honey. But um, so then the next time I went to go to get the pap smear, the next year after that, I had this man at Hunt Valley, y'all, Hunt Valley, and he took my dad on uterus and said, "See, this is it shook it and say this is your uterus and this is your this and this." And he was shaking it, and by the time he got finished, I'm like, "Why is he grabbing this?" Why is he I never had nobody grab the inside of me and hold it in his hand and shake it? Like he's trying to educate me on what it is. Listen, just go do what you got to do, honey. Don't be shaking my schoolie cat. Just do what I know. He was like, you know, don't educate me while you in there and pulling and, and I mean it's like he gripped it up and you know, and this is this and shook it and this and I'm like, what the hell is you doing, man? I was scared at that point, like, is he gonna rip my cootie cat out? You know what I'm saying? But he did that and um after he did that, it it kind of messed me up mentally. And it hurt it physically, okay? So because for a whole week I came home to obey, I was like, you know, he did this, and my girl was sore for like a whole week. Like, why would he do that? You know what I'm saying? Wish that, girl. Look, listen, you could kind of like sue these people, but at the same time, check it out. Can't sue yeah, you can sue them, but at the same time, that woman that was in there, I'm pretty sure she wasn't about to say nothing because she ain't trying to lose her job. And I have had to prove that this man picked up my my uterus <laughs> and grabbed it and like it was a, a, a tool and shook it yeah i say shook it and shook it so anyway that is kind of like stung me y'all and messed me up from getting them so but i know that i need to go you know i need to be with somebody i can trust and see i was with someone before his name was dr yap he was an asian doctor and he was very very good he was an older doctor but right now he done um retired so um ever since then i haven't really trusted anybody and then i tried went to them too and no so now i have to find somebody else that you know i can go to who's more who, who's you know responsible to my cootie cat and respectful to my cootie cat you know not responsible but respectful to my cootie cat you know what i'm saying girl please don't shake my uterus and my whatever else you shaking that banana and, me, and this is this and this is this and sugar this is it right here you feel that damn it it's my cootie cat i'm gonna feel it okay so i need to um find another OBGYN doctor now yeah so we're almost at Target, so we're gonna do Target, and then at the Target, I'm getting out of here, y'all, cause I ain't got nothing. Okay. All right, y'all. So I don't know already went to Target, and I'm sorry I didn't show it to you. Guys, but now we are at um, Giant, and um, this is what we have in here in the pot so far. So I love these chabanis right here, zero sugar yolk, Greek yogurt, and of course they have the zero sugar um, cookies. They get the soft baked one this time. We got like a rotisserie for tonight. We got some lunch meat, turkey breast. And we have some cheese. He has this juice right here, lemonade tea. That's a half and half. And we got some almond milk. Lemon tea, that's half and half. Right? And some bread. Yeah, so that's what we got. And y'all have some. So, um, I'll tell you some of the stuff that I did get from um, Target when I got home. Mm -hmm. Baby, that's all we need. Yeah. Okay. Look, we have these right here, though, babe. Yep. Yeah. They good. They got a lot of salt in there. Like so. Yeah, so what, that's what, too much salt, though. Here. That's less of salt than those right there. Yep. Like lying somewhere, baby. Let's see what they do once they, once you put that in, what's going to change? And then you put the number in already, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. Uh, while we in the car, um, Bay is in the bar, and I'm in the car before he gets here. Y'all tell me what type of videos y'all want to see me do. Y'all think I should continue to vlog or 
So I just get back into the beauty thing. Just all beauty. Like, seriously, sit down. Beauty stuff. Dang, that was fast, man. Oh, I didn't even talk to the people. Man. You fast. You know what happened. You fast. You said, how are you supposed to know what I'm doing? Yeah. You said, I'm fast. You can't smart me, buddy. No. You getting smart me, y'all. Get them, y'all, in the comments, okay? <laughs> they be like, don't be talking to my girl like that. I'm talking to Jay like that. And I'll be like, what you gonna be like? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Don't you talk to my girls like that, okay? Yo, I told y'all he be mean to me, okay? He be mean. But anyway, y'all, like I was saying before, he got in the car, I was trying to just talk to you guys because I was in here, boy. Tell me what kind of videos y'all want. Do y'all want me to just sit down and just do like um, hair videos, beauty videos, stuff like that, and um, no interaction like that? Or do you want me to be the way? Why are you taking me through some darkness, man? Oh, man, man, taking me in the dark. Oh, my goodness, in the boondocks, okay? But yeah, um, y'all, it's dark. Anyway, y'all, I can't get it. I don't know why my light keep coming on. But like I was saying, keep trying to say it let me know if y'all want me to, to to vlog vlog or do y'all want me to add vlogging and beauty um sometimes i'll sit down and do like some professional um videos like for hair and makeup y'all i'm scared to do makeup with y'all okay i'm scared because you know i'm just saying you know i'm just scared no nah, i ain't scared but um it just takes so long to edit to me that's the reason why i don't be wanting to do um to do um beauty videos like makeup and stuff like that you gotta edit this part edit that part it's just be too much but i will do it okay if you guys want me to because you know i'll do anything for you guys okay <laughs> but um let me know what it is that you want me to do that's all i'm saying just let me know and i will do it but i'm we're almost home so i'm gonna go ahead on and um i'll show you guys what i got from talking and i'm in this vlog okay because that's it that's it that's all nothing else <laughs> all right y'all let me go ahead on and I took this stuff out of the bag to make it easy because I'm trying to get rid of this um, vlog really quick. That way I can start another vlog, y'all. Okay, so what I did was I usually use Mario Badescu, but when I went to Alta, they didn't have none, y'all. So this is Mario Badescu. This is what I use, and that's the reason why because I get balls on my underarms. So I have to use something that is not. Um, sorry. So I have to use something that doesn't cause boils underneath my underarm so i usually use my Berdasco, but they didn't have any and i'm tired of searching around so i went on with this i saw this one right here dove zero percent aluminum deodorant and it is in cucumber and green tea so i'm gonna try this you know how you get like the little minis and the little thing so i got this i didn't get much from tajay i just got enough that you know that i'm just things that i needed so um i got these right got this one right here and it's like a a spray and it smells really, really good. Um, I got also this Dove, what is it? Um, Dove Original Aluminum Free Deodorant right here. And that's it. Oh, this smells amazing. Oh my goodness. This right here, this smells amazing. So they was like in a little, you know, like a little traveling thing. They were in there until I can get my hand on this. But honey, wait a minute. These smell amazing. I went on and grabbed my two boxes, got some L'Oreal coloring from there because I want to be able to color my wig. So I got this right here, two, two boxes of them, and I got them in the shade Ultimate Black. So yeah, right here. Um, I went on and grabbed me my Summer's Eve Amber Nights. I love this right here for me, y'all. This smells really, really good. It works really, really good. Usually I try to, because I got this from the Dollar Tree, the Queen V. Usually, um, I use these right here, and I got, I grab a bunch of them from the Dollar Tree, y'all. They have this one, plus they have, um, plus they have the soaps, the Queen V, and it's, um, it's, um, it's a Queen It Up. So, the soap looked like this, and I have used the soap. It looks like this, and it smells really, really good. But this one is not open right here. It comes, um comes packaged like this and it has the queen v on it so sorry about that guys 
It's just made a die on me, so I gotta hurry up. So usually I use these right here, but I didn't feel like going to the store to get anything else. So I was like, you know what? Let me go and use get this Amber Nights right here because I need my personals. Y'all, I went on to grab this um EOS and I used some of it. The EOS Evolution of Smooth 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion is a vanilla cashmere. Why y'all didn't tell me? Why y'all didn't put me down with this? This smells so good. Oh my goodness. I used it while I was in the car and I was like, oh my goodness. Oh, this smells so good. Y'all, this is vanilla cashmere. It's a seven nourishing oils plus butters. Soothing protection for dry skin. And I used this on me and I was in the car and it, honey, I was still hydrated, okay? <laughs> still hydrated. So I got those right there. And then of course, and I done, um already put these in my drawer. And I went on and got me panty liners, okay? I love to have panty liners. I have a drawer down here where I love my panty liners, y'all. I don't, um, I don't buy like, I try not to buy like a little small pack of 20 of them. I try to buy the big packets whenever I can. And that's what I did. So, um, yeah, let me show y'all my drawer. It looks like this. This is what my drawer looks like. It's packed. I don't use these anymore, guys. I don't have a minty anymore, but I'm not throwing them away. And I have like tampons back there, like the little um, personal packets of stuff that I need. But um, these are the ones I just bought from the store. I just put them right in here. Yeah, put them right in there. Okay, baby. So that's all I got. And um, I'm going to get out of here because I do want to start. Oh, and um, the other day when I went to the store, I had went on and bought like this little thing right here from Target. I was looking for another one, but I couldn't. But these right here, I go ahead and put my little hand, I'm bath and body works, hand soap in it. And I use it as a pump. As it's used for like, flowers and stuff like that but honey i use it as a little punk because i think it's really really pretty this is what i got from tarjay another day and this what i think was like three dollars for this i was looking for it again because i love the red the ridges that's in it it's rib like i love it it's like you know uh, i love it it looks really really good on my vanity so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here guys um i'll let you guys know how this dove how these doves work, I mean, how they how they are, just in case if you're somebody who um, don't like aluminum. I don't like aluminum and baking soda and all that stuff underneath my arms, plus I get, like, boils and stuff. So, I'll let y'all know how this works, because, you know, I'm used to using my Merle Badasco, but, honey, I don't have any more. So, I'll let you know how that is. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, y'all, and um, let me know what y'all want to see, if you want me to incorporate the beauty in there. But or even do the beauty by itself. Just let me know. Y'all you know, feel like I'm not even in frame. Just let me know what it is that you want me to do, how y'all want me to do it, and I will do it, okay? Um, but I think I want I'm think I'm fine with vlogging. Um, maybe some sit down um hair tutorials, maybe some sit down makeup and stuff like that. Why my hair is I don't like it when it's all together. I like it like it looks like it's fluffed. But anyway, so I will see you guys. You wanna say bye? Bye, y'all. <laughs> y'all he is rude okay y'all got to get to know him he is rude okay no, yeah anyway he not that rude y'all he loves me but he rude <laughs> anyway y'all okay so i'm out of here um hopefully i'll be doing something in other vlogs if not this is me this is what's going on okay baby this is what's going on your butt is showing Dang. Now I got to edit that out no i ain't adding nothing now they just gonna see your booty <laughs> i ain't just gonna see your booty because you keep doing that to me Anyway, y'all, so I will see you guys in the next next vlog or the next video. Whatever. Be blessed and not stressed. Mwah.